In this lesson, we will talk about how to add image, video, and audio into your HTML document. So, let's see how to add an image first in our document. Here, I have created one HTML file that contains the HTML head, body, and title tag. Now, I will show you how to use the image tag to add an image into your HTML document. So first, let's get inside the body tag and add the image tag here. Now, the image tag needs one required attribute called src or source. So let's add this. Inside the src, we need to place the value of the image path. I have already added an image inside the same folder where this HTML file exists. Now I will just write the image file name with the extension. Now save this document and let's run it. Here you can see the output of our image. Now let's go back and let's try to add a video. Basically, in order to add a video in our HTML document, there are two specific tags that we need to remember. Number one is the video tag. And inside a video, there can be one or more sources. So in order to add a source, we use the tag called source. Let me show you how to add a video. In the video tag, we can use the attributes like width and height to specify how much width and height should occupy by the video source. Along with this, we can also use one attribute called controls. It will do place the controls associated with a browser to play videos. Now let's add a source inside our video. Again, src is the required attribute for the source tag. And along with the source, we must specify the type. Okay, now let's save it and see how it works. There you can see our video is placed and we got some controls that is showing the video length, current position, the play or pause button, the maximize icon and some other options. Let's play it. So this is how videos work in HTML. Now, the last part of our video, that is, how to add audio in our HTML document. Let's get back to our editor and see how we can add audios. Audio works in the same way like video in HTML. We will use the audio tag to add an audio. We can also use the controls attribute to specify that the browser must place some controls in order to manipulate the audio file. Now inside of our audio tag, we can place our sources.
so here i have added the audio file our file is called audio and it is having the extension mp3 and for the type we are using audio slash mpeg we must use mpeg for mp3 files now let's save it and see how our browser renders it and there you can see our audio So it comes up with the play and pause button, the volume and the bar to manipulate the audio progress. So that is how images, audios and videos can be added into your HTML document.